What's up, YouTube? Today we are going to be talking about Upland and how to sell more properties in Upland. Uh, specifically, this is essentially a beginner's guide for flipping and selling more properties in Upland. So, as many of you know, most of the community of Upland is really active on Discord. It's where a lot of challenges happen and where a lot of the community comes together to uh, talk and get to know each other and, and talk about various things in Upland. But I really enjoy the Upland Reddit community. Uh, in Reddit, I really like that it's topic-based, that uh, we can kind of go more in-depth on topics and discussions and have kind of a better back and forth, whereas Discord's kind of more constant. So if you're not always checking it, sometimes you, you, you can kind of miss out on the conversation. So let's jump right into it. Um, a few weeks ago, I was I was scrolling through Reddit and saw this post from this Upland player uh, who said, although I put properties in Upland on sale, so far nobody has bought any. The tutorials and videos like Upland Show make it seem real easy, like a livid market where selling happens all the time. I tried various prices any idea okay so first of all hey thanks for the shout out uh if you don't know uh here on this channel we have a weekly upland show where me and my friend mcsqueeb who's another upland player uh have more long form discussions and go in depth on various upland topics uh anyway so uh to respond uh to, to this comment, it Upland actually is a very livid market. Uh, selling is happening all the time, and you just have to go at it with the right strategy. So today we're going to teach you the strategy of how to be more successful in Upland. So uh, I decided to respond to this player. Hey, what's your in-game name? I'd be happy to provide some specific advice. Uh, he says his name is Lemmy, uh, and so far he has properties in Staten Island that they're trying to sell. And so I went in and gave some very specific advice on, on what I think they should sell it for. And today, today I would like to walk you through a similar process. Uh, this player, Scully, uh, said they would like some advice on their properties as well. So I figured let, let's make a video out of it and I will walk you through my process. So the first thing I did was go to Scully1006 on upx.world or upx.world. This is a website where you can do research on players and see specifically the properties that they own and also research uh, lots of different data about Upland. So... Uh, let's take let's take me up the screen here. So Scully has three properties, two in Brooklyn, and one in Oakland. So you can also see what this player has them for sell for. So looks like they bought one for one thousand one hundred and forty Upix, and they're trying to sell it for six thousand nine hundred and sixty nine Upix. Uh, this is a six hundred percent market markup so they're trying to 6x their return on this uh, property so what i like to do if you really want to sell properties faster is research what the actual market is in the given city that you're trying to sell properties in so in this case it's there's two in brooklyn so what what uh, let, let's go into Upland. Let's go into my account here. Uh, I'm in Cleveland. Let's go over to Brooklyn. Uh, zoom in. Um, it's going to be hard to get all of th this is Staten Island and here's Brooklyn. So if you zoom out on all of a of a given city, you can actually click this button right here in the bottom right and see all of the properties in that city that are for sale. Okay, so if we hover over Brooklyn here um, and try to 
scroll so that we're not showing Staten Island, kind of cut off the edge, but keep all of Brooklyn uh, in the view, okay? And then let's click this button here, and a few Staten Island properties will show up just because they might be right on that edge, but that's okay. So we can see in Brooklyn, these are the sorted by price. These are the cheapest properties for sale in Brooklyn. So $3.99, $3.99. These are players that have access to selling it for cash. However, I think we should focus on what they're being sold for at the UPEX price. So we're going to skip right over these because these guys are trying to sell them as cheap as they can for cash. So this one, Staten Island, we'll skip that as well. Let's find the cheapest one that is UPEX. Okay, here we go. 4,399 UPEX in Brooklyn. So let's click this property. So this is the cheapest property for sale in Brooklyn right now in Upland for UPEX, not for, not for USD. So this is, this is what you want to sell it for. If you want to sell as fast as you can, uh, which by the way, if you're a, if you're a FSA player, if you have under 100,000 net worth, you can buy and sell special properties. You, you can buy the cheapest properties in the game and make profit the fastest. So this is really a strategy is to buy and sell two per week because FSA limits you to two sales, two FSA sales per week. So here we have the cheapest property. So let's go back to Scully here. Uh, he has, or she has, uh, 1,140 and 1,260 mint price. Okay. And the cheapest one for sale right now in Brooklyn is 4,399. So that is a big return. So this player can flip both of these properties probably in one day if they list them for 4,400 UPEX. And that is almost a four times return and they will have the, that UPEX to go buy new properties right away. So we could do the same thing for Oakland. Oakland may not be as drastic, but again, why not sell properties as, as fast as you can for as much money as you, as you can? So let's look at Oakland. Okay, let's scroll out here. So 2,460 was the cost in Oakland. Let's go over here. Where's Oakland at? Right next to San Francisco. Let's scroll out over the city of Oakland and hit again this map, this properties button in the bottom right. Okay, is it gonna load? Sometimes it doesn't. Let's re let's refresh here really quick. Let's see here. Okay, well, well, that's that's not gonna work for us. Either way, same principle applies. Uh, buy properties cheap and flip them. So I pulled up this uh, illustration of the snowball, the snowball effect. Okay, so think of a snowball rolling down a hill. It gets bigger and bigger each time it rolls. It's picking up more snow. This is the strategy that you want to use in Upland. Uh, buy low and sell at the next lowest price. Continue this process and you're making money every time you buy a property and every time you sell a property. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Uh, again, FSA players, you have a major advantage. You can buy the cheapest properties in the game and you can sell them for the biggest profit right away. If I were a new player, I would buy you know, those two FSA properties a week and sell two FSA properties every week. And you're going to get more and more money until you get up to 100,000 UPEX or $100 net worth. And at that point, uh, you can do the same thing. You just can no longer buy FSA properties. So I hope that is helpful. If you 
liked this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if this, if you thought this video was helpful, please share it with a friend and subscribe for more. We will be doing more of these videos uh, weekly. So thanks for joining and uh, see you next time.